about subject selection post the implementation of the new education policy 2020. He is a nationally renowned career counselor and a social entrepreneur, a structural engineer with a master's degree in management. He quit his cushy job as he was driven by the quest to help students find their right career path. He is the most popular and successful motivational speaker and a career counselor who has delivered more than 1500 talks across India and has helped more than 5 lakh students identify their career goals. On behalf of Anand Niketan Srilaj, I take immense pleasure to welcome you, sir, to enlighten us with your deeper insights. Welcome, sir. We are truly delighted with your valuable presence. Thank you so much, uh, Sakina, ma'am. I want to quickly check, is my voice completely audible? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your kind introduction, ma'am. And uh, Anand Niketan is always a uh, home for me. Uh, so with very warm thanks to uh, Lamia Shums, ma'am, uh, to Palguni Trivedi, ma'am, all the faculty members who are present with us today. So today's workshop is being uh, hosted by Anand Niketan Shilaj, and I am going to talk on the subject uh, which is very popular in the education sector these days, that is the new education policy 2020. So I've tried to connect this new education policy uh, with uh, you know the choices which children should be taking up right from grade uh, eight, nine onwards. And to make this session more informative, I have also uh, tried to include more than 300 different professions which children can look up to. So today you may not require to primarily fix one particular stream or one particular graduation or one particular profession for yourself. But at least I believe uh, if you have knowledge, if you have awareness about different professions, it is always going to be of help in the long run. So today's session, uh, you know, I expect all the children also who are sitting down there, if you have your parents still at home, if they're not left for work, I will request you to quickly run, get your parents, make them sit with you for 30 minutes. I will try and finish my talk within maximum 30 minutes. Then I'll open the house for question answers. And I very strongly believe uh, not only uh, children, but parents will also uh, benefit a lot from this session. They will also have a lot of information uh, which will help them guide their own children in the coming times. What is the session objective for today? Uh, most of you are either in grade 8 or in grade 9. Children who are in grade 8, they are expected to take up a certain subject combination in grade 9. And children who are grade 9, they have already taken a subject combination. So for eighth children, you will get to know more about it. Ninth children, you will be able to check yourself whether you are in the right subject combination. Also, as I shared, I will talk to you about more than 325 different professions which shall be uh, you know, listed in today's interaction. I assume all of you are from grade eight and nine. Let us understand some basics irrespective of the fact whether you're studying in India or abroad, whether you're studying in ICSC, CBSC, State Board, Cambridge, International, Open Board, you till grade 10 are exposed to five categories of subjects. The same continues obviously beforehand, even if you look up to grade eight, now, what are those five categories and what is the importance of those five categories? The first category of subject which you're exposed to is mathematics. You all know some of you love it and some of you, rather many of you might also hate it, but nothing to worry. <clears throat> Second category of subjects which you get exposed to is science in which primarily there are elementary or fundamental sciences which include physics, chemistry and biology. Then you expose yourself to social sciences, which may include subjects like history, geography, civics, economics. <clears throat> Fourth category is language. 
which is compulsory English language. Along with it could be some other regional or national languages, including Hindi, Gujarati, Sanskrit, and so on. And the fifth category of subjects which you are exposed to are practical skill-based subjects. They could be art, craft, carpentry, electrical, sports, computers, physical education, and so on. There is no sixth category of subject which you as a student studying in a school is exposed to, whether again it is India or any foreign country or it is any board. <clears throat> now, what is the importance of each subject? Let us understand that. Many children would come to me and say, sir, we all have calculator. We all have these days computers. You know, Google uncle is there to answer all our queries and questions. Why do we study maths? Well, you need to study maths because it helps us making our daily life easy. <clears throat> if somebody quickly asked you certain basic calculation, maybe you went to the market to a grocery store and you picked up four things and each item has got certain value and you are quickly needing to calculate what is the total amount of money which you need to give to that person. Now, that time you will not fiddle your pocket to find out where the calculator is. So it makes our daily life easy. Second, it develops analytical skill. How you analyze things, how you analyze numbers, how you analyze figures. <clears throat> and overall, if you look at intelligence, IQ, intelligence quotient, one of the important part of intelligence quotient is your problem solving ability. By and large, this also develops your problem solving ability. So children who are good at maths or children to whom mathematics come naturally, comfortably, easily, we might suggest that mathematics as a subject should be carried forward, whether it is in grade nine or 10 or further, whether it is in grade 11 or 12. But you must understand that importance of studying a subject, if is clear to you, I'm sure your concentration, your involvement with the subject definitely increase. Mathematics is a very logical subject. And believe me, it improves a lot of your mental ability. So whether you go for any international level exam or a national level exam, whether it is after grade 12 or after graduation or after post-graduation, whether you're looking at international exams like SAT, ACT, or you're looking at GRE, GMAT, or Indian exams, anywhere and everywhere, basic 10th level mathematics or what we call as elementary mathematics is something which will judge or which will gauge your intelligence. So that is the importance of math subject. Second, we come to science. Primarily, there are three fundamental sciences which you study, physics, chemistry, and biology. Now, what does science do or what does science uh, improve in our uh, uh, you know, IQ or in our intelligence? Basically, it, it helps our brain to grow and find new knowledge. I'm sure you all must have at some point of the time or the other uh, seen Discovery Channel. And one of the punchline of Discovery Channel when it just got launched in India used to be, uh, you know, see beyond what you see. And I still remember it used to be translated in Hindi those days. Uh, and they used to say, jo dikhe usse pare dekhye. see beyond what you see. Whatever you are seeing in and around you is somewhere involving science because everything is happening due to certain reason. So it helps you resolve your curiosity towards how the world works right from your kitchen of what is being cooked, how it is being cooked, what is the difference between cooking and baking? Why does water get converted into ice if cooled? Or why does water get converted into steam if heated? This all is related to science somewhere or the other. And last, as I said, it, it basically makes you think beyond. 
so if science comes naturally comfortably easily to you then you should carry on with the science subjects in your higher grades and if you are finding difficulty that is not something where your mind works that is not something which comes comfortably easily to you then you must think twice now one good thing at your age is any aptitude at your age can be enhanced can be improved if you look at my age or any of your teachers age or your parents age our aptitude has more or less got fixed it is very difficult for us to improve an aptitude beyond a certain limit but at your age for the children who are still studying and you are in the growing stage till the age of 23 to 25 you have ability and capability to improve your aptitude so if you want to get into certain area related to sciences and you feel any one or more of fundamental sciences you are not good at actually you can make it better you can sit down give conscious effort on that subject work stronger and harder on that subject and your aptitude can be enhanced so that is important of science next we come to social sciences where we study subject like history civics geography economics basically when you talk about social sciences as the name suggests it helps us understand how society works and within the society there are a lot of things there are things related to others behavior there are things which is related to uh, you know uh, different economies there are things which are related to different backgrounds there are things which are related to different locations so based on each you have different type of subjects be it economics where you have where you understand coexisting economies you you study subjects like maybe uh, you know uh, uh, psychology or philosophy at higher areas where you try to understand the behavior of how people you behave in a certain way or you are talking about history trying to know what are your roots where did you come from and how you have evolved this is all what you get to learn in the area of social sciences again if social sciences is something which connect better to you which comes naturally comfortably easily to you then you must carry on with studying social sciences next is language language fundamentally distinguishes you from a animal or distinguishes us from the other species which are existent on the earth we are basically people who can communicate understand each other's feeling understand each other's viewpoint that is what language gives us and language could be any you may be studying english hindi gujarati sanskrit uh, you know uh, marathi kannad telugu tamil punjabi any of these regional languages basically language connect you with the different people and it is a source of understanding others emotions and obviously communicating your emotions to the other people languages by and large is a compulsory part of most of the uh, you know higher education whether you go for a graduation or a post graduation but still somebody who is strong with languages must know that your forte or what comes comfortably naturally to you are the areas of languages or is a particular language and even at national international level when you talk about at iq tests or aptitude tests you know along with mathematics language becomes the second important point or second important thing which decides or which gives a measurement to your iq so if you look at most of these entrance exams wherever they are they will by and large include mathematics language and problem solving skills which is nothing but combination of understanding different problems via language english or via mathematics because those problems may be numerical in nature and last coming to the practical skill based subjects this set of subjects 
develop different types of skills those could be performing skills where you expertise in singing dancing acting those could be artistic skills where you uh, you know uh, uh, where you are specialist or where you expertise in the area of art drawing painting crafting could be in the area of sports could be in the area of culinary art that could be cooking baking microwaving could be in the area of digital bent that could be you know photography film making could be area of literary that is debating declamation speech giving anchoring so it basically helps us finding creative solution to different problems and allow us to think differently it makes our surrounding very interesting and makes each individual a very unique personality so try to figure out what skill based practical areas are something which you are very strong with or which come naturally comfortably to you so what should be the basis of subject selection after grade 8 should it be peer group whatever your friends are doing you must do that Now understand if you have listened to me carefully the five category of subjects which you have been exposed to till grade 8 each one of you may not have the same taste or flavor of each category of subject so should it be parental influence whatever my father or whatever my mother did i should carry on with that may not be necessary should it be social influence children and parents come to me when i do counseling for them that sir what is something which you know can be done uh, which is something which will be prevalent 10 years from now 8 years from now what is going to be the best career in the market 10 years from now these are social influences but not necessary because your aptitude or your comfort of subject or taste of subject may not connect with that particular profession so basis of stream selection should be your subject group comfort at 8th grade level as we all know we have different choices so simply speaking if you are showing comfort with maths and science combination you should carry on with taking science in grade 9 and 10 another combination could be maths and economics another one could be social sciences and languages and another one could be skill based subjects so try to figure out what out of these options are your comfort zone based on that either you take commercial studies or commerce or you take science by and large i encourage children to take mathematics till grade 10 but if you are not feeling comfortable with numbers at all then you may drop mathematics and probably may either take environmental studies along with your uh, you know commerce or uh, you know may take any other subject which is being offered by the school so who should take science and maths first of all if you are strong at the same you are curious in knowing how machine works how life in and around works and you have the ability to sit and spend long hours with books and or computers if that combination is something which is strong go ahead and continue with science and maths in grade 9 and 10 now there are lot of different professions which one can pursue after doing science in grade 9 and 10 and further in grade 11 and 12 we have all heard about engineering so you can become an engineer in multiple areas which could start from aerospace to aeronautical aircraft maintenance automobile biochemical biological sciences biomedical ceramic chemical civil computer sciences electrical electronics electronics and communication electrical and electronics electronics and instrumentation engineering physics engineering science environment fire technology food and nutrition food technology genetics geoinformatics industrial systems instrumentation leather technology manufacturing science marine material science mathematics and computing mechanical mechatronics metallurgical mineral mining mining machinery naval architecture ocean petrochemical petroleum plastic polymer production robotics and textile you can also get into the area of architecture or planning 
where after doing either a five year degree in bachelor of architecture or a four year degree in bachelor of planning you can become an archaeologist architect architectural engineer surveyor building inspector conservation officer interior designer landscape artist restoration artist special designer town planner or a urban planner also children passing out from science may plan to become pilot for which maths and physics in grade 11 and 12 is compulsory you could also become an astronaut naval officer or a fashion technologist through combination of pure sciences especially taking biology one can get into medical sciences where you can become an allopathic doctor dentist or an ayurveda homeopathic siddh naturopathic or a yunani doctor you can get into the area of paramedical sciences where you could become an advanced care paramedic or a technician in the area of anesthesia cardiovascular critical care dialysis imaging laboratory nuclear medicine occupational therapy op ophthalmic optometric occupation uh, operation theater perfusion you can get into pharmacy nursing physiotherapy or trauma therapy rehabilitation sciences is also a beautiful option where you can get into becoming an audiologist auditory therapist child welfare specialist clinical social worker counselor developmental therapist mental health support worker orthotist prosthetist otologist clinical psychologist rehabilitation therapist or a speech pathologist veterinary science is another area where you can get into animal husbandry and dairy you can become a an animal biotechnologist genetist nutritionist aquaculturist dairy culturist scientist mariculturist pisciculturist livestock production technologist poultry scientist or veterinary bioscientist pathologist or a surgeon now any child whether is coming from maths combination or a biology combination could get into pure sciences where one can get into anthropology biochemistry biophysics biotechnology botany chemistry forensic sciences geology mathematics microbiology physical sciences physics research science seismology statistics or zoology also anybody can get into agricultural sciences where one has the choice to become an agriculturist sericulturist aquaculturist mariculturist horticulturist floriculturist food technologist or a soil vegetable or fruit scientist biotechnologist biochemist agronomist nutritionist plant pathologist or a agricultural economist then second option which you all have in grade 9 and 10 is commercial studies where you study basic subjects of social sciences and basic subjects of commerce and mathematics could be optional so if you are good at maths and economics you enjoy working with the numbers data analysis and you are curious towards business analysis business transactions then commerce or commercial studies could be a very good option for you so what you need to be doing is after doing commerce you can get into area of actuary auditor banking chartered accountancy company secretaryship cost and work accountancy or you can become a finance analyst planner controller or an investment analyst statistician stock broker tax auditor or tax consultant also if your strength is more towards social sciences and languages you more like subjects like english and social sciences that is history geography civics you have a versatile reading habit and you have good observation and analyzing power then obviously after grade 8 you may continue with the combination of commerce and social sciences and then post grade 10 go ahead with taking up pure social sciences and languages combination post which you can become a political scientist psychologist historian geographer anthropologist archaeologist philosopher public administrator you can become a curator editor journalist sociologist restorer social worker or translator finally if any student say that he or she wish or is good in more practical skill based subjects then what is the option well in grade 9 and 10 you may continue with the most suitable set of subjects then either you can move on to diploma education after 10th where you can do a diploma in the area of engineering technology agricultural sciences paramedical sciences rehabilitation sciences design fine arts performing arts computer applications 
event management, travel tourism, foreign language, healthcare and yoga, or vocational studies. Or you could take further an appropriate choice in grade 11 and 12 and switch to a more general stream. What are the general streams which are open to everybody? So whether you have taken science or commerce or humanities, or whether you've taken maths or you've not taken maths, irrespective of the fact, any subject combination at grade 9 and 10 and further at grade 11 and 12 is allowed to pursue any of these courses that pertains to law, hotel management, business management, mass communication, liberal arts, computer applications, sports, economics, social work, design, social sciences, performing arts, armed forces, and vocational studies. I will take approximately six to seven more minutes. And each vertical, I will quickly share with you the qualities of the candidate and what professions you can get into. So if you have the ability to think and argue logically, you're good at reading and writing, and you have inclination towards politics and social sciences or social issues, law could be a very good option. After doing law, you can become an advocate, arbitrator, conciliator, corporate legal consultant, diplomat, investigator, judge, judicial magistrate, lawyer, legal advisor, litigator, mediator, professor, prosecutor, social activist, or a solicitor. If you have keen interest in cooking, eating, and you're comfortable with vegetarian, non-vegetarian, all types of foods, you have very good taste buds, then hotel management could be an excellent option. After doing hotel management, you can become an air crew, baker, bar chef, caterer, chef, confectioner, food and beverages manager, food stylist, front office manager, hotelier, housekeeping manager, pastry chef, restaurant, sales and marketing manager, or a ship crew. If you have very good leadership skills, good teamwork abilities, and you have strong inclination towards various aspects of business, be it marketing, finance, systems operations, information technology, human resource management, and so on. After doing business management, you can manage any of the things which may include brand, event, marketing, financial investment, information technology, market research, public relations, human source, project, risk, sales, social media, supply chain. If you have flair for writing and language, you are very good at your language, specifically English. You have ability to work for long hours and you are very inquisitive and have a questioning nature. Then mass communication could be a very good option for you. In mass communication, you can become an anchor, advertiser, brand manager, content writer, blog writer, creative writer, script writer, screen writer, or you can get into becoming correspondent, director, editor, filmmaker, fashion communicator. You can become a journalist, media programmer, specialist in public relations, reporter, or a visual merchandiser. Coming to liberal arts or liberal studies, if you like multiple subjects, you want to choose your own subject and study what you like, then liberal arts could be a beautiful option. Now, liberal arts is a new age option where right in the beginning, you do not choose your specialization. So you don't enter into a degree which is a BA or a BBA or a BCom or a BSc. You go for a foundation year, study different subjects, and then choose a major and a minor. And based on major, you get a degree. And after, depend, depending on what major you take, post finishing your degree, you can get into area of advertising, public relations, business analysis, business consultancy, creative writing, economic analysis, environmental affairs, film and television, new resource manager, and so on. Multiple options are there. Next is computer applications. If you have ability to think logically, you have interest in coding and computer languages, you have interest in hardware and computer networking, you have ability to sit on computers for long hours, then computer application could be a very good option. And in computer applications, you can become an application designer, audio and video technologist, computer system analyst. You can become a digital marketer, ethical hacker, game designer, media programmer, network engineer. You can get into programming or coding, SEO specialist, software engineer, BFX designer, web designer, or website tester. Next is economics. If you have strong bank towards economics or academics and research, 
you're good with basic economics and mathematics and you have the ability to analyze data and present it very well then you can get into multiple professions related to economics which could be actuarial sciences banking business analysis credit analysis data analysis finance analysis and so on coming to design if you are good at visualization and drawing you have interest in designing interest in creating new and innovative things then you can get into multiple areas of design which could be accessory animation apparel ceramic communication fashion footwear furniture industrial interior knitwear leather product sculptures textile toy or ui ux next coming to performing arts there are three primary category of performing arts one is singing second is dancing third is acting if you have good physical stamina you have good observation power and you are extremely talented in one particular form of art you can become an actor or an actress choreographer composer dancer director dramatist musician screen writer singer talent manager theater artist trainer or a vocalist again if you are very good physical stamina and mental strength you are extremely talented in any one particular sport then you can get into the area of sports where you can get a ba bba bcom or a bpes degree and then become an announcer athlete coach commentator equipment manager physical trainer referee sports analyst sports manager stadium manager last but not the least coming to armed forces if you are very keen in being adventurous with good leadership skills you are good at crisis handling and you want to serve your country then after 12th you can give an exam known as nda and get into armed forces which may include army air force or navy finally before i move to question answers round i always suggest parents and children never blindly follow friends this is especially for the children and never blindly follow trends this is especially for the parents because a lot of parents would come to me and say sir koi acha sa career nikal ke dijiye mere bacche ke liye i literally feel like a confectioner who is sitting on a stove you know cooking some pakoras or samosas where somebody comes and says सर मेरे वाला थोड़ा क्रिस्प करके देना मेरे वाला थोड़ा कम सेकना मेरे वाले में आलू ज्यादा भर देना बिलीव मी यू कैन नॉट पिक अप अ प्रोफेशन एंड फिट अ चाइल्ड इनटू इट ऑलवेज यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई ओरिएंटेशन एप्टीट्यूड पर्सनालिटी इंटरेस्ट ऑफ योर चाइल्ड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू इट फाइंड आउट अ करियर and give it to the child which will give the child best fitness so i always say it is not a particular career which makes your child successful or happy or earn a lot of money it is always the fitment of the child in the right career which makes your child successful happy and obviously earn a lot of money once again before i close and start the question answer round i would like to thank palguni ma'am i would like to thank lamia ma'am sakina ma'am who have really given a very loud and big introduction of me uh if you are seeking after 10th any entrance test preparation related to law business management hotel management mass communication liberal arts economics honors social sciences then you can connect with us at iq ideas if you are confused not sure of what you want to do in grade 9 and 10 and you are seeking career counseling you can connect with my office at 7600888111 or you could follow me on social media or you can go to my website that is mohitmangal.com so without taking much time i'll quickly move to question answers i will request all the children to share your questions with me in the chat box and i'll be happy to uh, answer those questions so any of your questions you can please post it in the chat box
okay so uh, first question which has come to me is what if a person wants to do both science and business yes it is possible there is nothing wrong so in grade 9 and 10 you take science then after 11th 12th in 11th 12th you continue taking science post that you may finish your either a bachelor's degree in engineering or a bachelor's degree in medicine depending upon whatever is your comfort and after doing your bachelor you can still do a masters in business administration post which your hunger of both science as well as business is taken care you can do that next question sir what should be done to enter into the civil services as i believe all of you uh, who are attending today's session primarily come from grade 8 and 9 well civil services is something which any graduate can appear you need to be fundamentally uh, gaining knowledge or have very strong knowledge in five subject areas and what are those five subject areas those five subject areas are economics history geography political science and sociology at grade 8 or 9 level you please focus on social sciences focus on languages and be a very voracious reader step by step keep consuming knowledge related to these five subjects then after graduation during graduation start your preparation for civil services and then after graduation you will be in a position to appear for the civil services exam Just give me a moment. Okay. So next question is: uh, What stream should we choose in ninth for application and game designing? Does not matter. when you get into an area like application game designing whether you are from science or commerce background anybody can join so the two types of degrees which are available one is bca bachelor of computer applications and second is bsc that is bachelor of sciences in the area of game designing or application designing both of them any child whether you are from commerce or science or arts can join sir for nda which is suitable science or some other field again it does not matter if you give nda through science then you can also opt for a flying branch in air force and machine room branch in navy otherwise if you go through humanities or commerce then you cannot apply for engineering or flying branches you can only apply for logistics and administration branches sir which line should we take to become an archaeologist archaeology primary falls under the category of history so you should follow the branch of humanities and social sciences to become an archaeologist <clears throat> if we have taken a commerce stream then what is to be done after 12 are there any exams to be given to apply in a university well my child after 12 depending upon your bachelor's choice you may or may not require to give any entrance exam for example if i look at bcom majority of the colleges across the country today do not have an entrance exam related to bachelors of commerce but down the line there may be certain universities which may start entrance process for bcom so i think you are too young don't think about that first try to figure out what 9th 10th you want to do further what 11th 12th you have to do then in grade 11 you take a call whether you require to appear for any entrance exam or not next is i want to pursue science for my further studies so what are the jobs if i am pursuing robotics well in robotics you can get into automation cryptography you can get into uh, you know physical robot generation chip designing motherboard designing uh, you know um, uh what you call uh, uh you know robot robot programming so there are loads of areas within robotics also which are available again as i told go step by step 
the moment you talk about robotics as a field you are talking about masters and masters is at least 2 years of 9 10th 2 years of 11 12 3 years or 4 years of bachelors at least 8 years from now you cannot think about what is going to happen 8 years from now you can maximum be clear for next 2 years just think of grade 9 and 10 right now i wanted to ask sir if i want to take commerce and do a course of fine arts to be a fashion designer is that possible absolutely yes it is possible you can do commerce in 9th 10th and then in 11th 12th also you may pursue humanities you may continue with commerce depending upon your subject comfort and then continue with fashion designing uh, you know or or go for fine arts my child is interested in science she is good at drawing माय चाइल्ड इज इंटरेस्टेड इन साइंस शी इज गुड एट ड्राइंग but less interested in maths please suggest proper stream ma'am in such a case i would suggest you need to connect with me for uh, you know a brain mapping process only then i will be able to help you because it is only after career counseling i can identify what is the level of maths at what level what are the options which can be given or granted to the child so i think it is uh, only after counseling i'll be able to help you out uh next is uh, sir if you want to become a ca is good maths needed answer is yes you need to be extremely good with your basic numerics and formula application mathematics which is up to grade 10 level sir thank you for the wonderful information you have shared today my daughter is in ninth grade right now she is right now into professional skating but that is limited to a certain age she is also interested in music to be specific in piano what would be a better option for her please guide ma'am again i would need to do a career counseling for such a child it is only after that i'll be able to define a career path and give it to you that this is what she should do in the forthcoming years sir what should we take to be a stock market investor and a broker with economics well you study right now commerce with economics then there are lot of certification programs which are available uh just give me a moment i will share with you link of one of my career guide uh you know which is uh, something which will give you uh, such information so i am giving you two things uh, so i am giving you two links one link is of my uh, career guide if you go to my website and buy this career guide it is going to cost you 250 rupees but from this link you will be able to download it free of cost and second i am giving you link of my youtube channel uh, where in lot of information and informative videos about different subjects are there which you can follow so uh, so i was coming to this question stop this okay uh, uh, uh so in the book why i gave you the link of the book you can go to the commerce section in the commerce section i have given you uh, certification programs by national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange after doing those cert certification programs you can get into stock market and become an investor or a broker what is plan b if i want to become a cricketer again i need to do a career counseling through brain mapping only then i can guide you what should be plan b for you sir what is an it manager uh, it manages information technology manager somebody who manages information technology in a particular organization or a particular uh, you know uh, office and and so on just give me a moment
I am just sharing some other resources with you. So if you want to connect again with my office, I'm just sharing with you the mobile number which you can connect with. Okay, so next question which I'm picking up is, uh, sir, we can take science or commerce if you want to pursue paths like graphic and VFX designing. Answer is yes. You do not require mathematics for this. You do not require science for this. So there is no fundamental requirement for the same. So one can pursue graphic designing or VFX designing through commerce, arts or science, anything. Sir, what line should I take for interior designing? Again, it does not matter whether you are from science or commerce or arts. Anybody can get into interior designing. For interior designing, there are two degrees available in India. One is BID, Bachelor of Interior Design. And second is BDES, Bachelor of Design specializing in interior design for both the degrees any child from science commerce arts is allowed to go ahead with which streams are available if we are both interested in commercial studies and economics leaving computer applications behind being the weakness then rather than taking computer application you can take environmental studies or you can take mathematics along with commercial studies and economics that will depend upon what your school is offering any degree or specialized course for entrepreneurship yes now there are undergraduate as well as five-year integrated undergraduate plus postgraduate degrees which are available in the area of entrepreneurship or they call it family business management or they call it entrepreneurship and family business management so i think this, this, there's a long time so you first finish your grade 9 and 10 and post grade 10 you you know uh, 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 try to figure out knowledge related to these areas and then after 12th you can get into these areas what stream to choose if one wants to get into IT field? Again, does not matter whether you're from science or commerce or arts, anybody can get into information technology field. Only thing by and large you need to have for information technology is you need to have a knack towards coding and programming. Sir, after 10th, what are the options for polytechnic courses in Ahmedabad? Ma'am, very micro level question. Go to the GTU, Gujarat Technical University website look at the diploma programs and the iti polytechnic programs you will get the complete list of uh, uh, colleges and their detailed branches across gujarat from there you can filter out and the bar. sir what is the future of real estate in india i think this question does not uh, uh, you know uh, mark a place in uh, the counseling session that may be my personal viewpoint but yes till the time we are a growing population real estate will always be needed there will always be requirement there will always going to be scope and future don't worry sir you just use the word brain mapping what is it exactly well the process which i use to understand the orientation aptitude personality and interest of the child based on which i give you the further guideline of what path should be followed for the child's career that process is what I call as brain mapping. It is a psychometric assessment process in which we interact with the child and the parent one on one. And then I give them a complete uh, flow of things. You can connect with the number which I gave you of my office. They will give you a brief about it. And if required, they will also give you an appointment with me. Is science divided into medical and non-medical? So what should be taken if I want to go for NDA? Primarily, if NDA is your focus, then non-medical or the group of physics, chemistry and mathematics is going to be more favorable for you. Because otherwise, if you take up physics, chemistry, biology combination, which is known as medical, then your uh, path in getting into uh, defense services will be different. You will first give NEET, then join Armed Forces Medical College in Pune. And then after that, you can get into defense forces. So these two are different fields. Depending upon your comfort, you should take the subject. Is being CS applicable if you're strong in commercial studies, economics, and a little bit weak in computer app? 
when cs is what are you talking about company secretaryship or you are talking about computer sciences because you've also mentioned computers so i am not sure what this question means sir good speaking skill are important for upsc examination answer is no uh, you need to be communicative but you don't need to be a a, a public speaker right so decent level of communication is more than sufficient knowledge is more important than uh, uh, you know uh, just a particular language command uh okay i had stopped the questions because there were a lot of them i still have 3 4 minutes to go so if there are more questions you can put it sir i like to study maths and biology and history and civics is there any option available where i can study all of these together bache primarily just look at what your school is offering if they are offering science along with the combination of social sciences then definitely these subjects shall be available uh, you know otherwise uh, try to look at the most uh, suitable combination what is rehabilitation science well the uh, you go to the uh, you know the the uh, either you go to the youtube channel i have a beautiful video on rehabilitation sciences or you pick up the book which i just sent you the link of uh in that go to the section of rehabilitation sciences i have talked in detail what are the degrees available what are the specializations what are the career prospects and so on uh okay uh, sir currently i am in 9th grade commerce economics without maths and i want to be a ca can i be the, your answer to can i be is yes anybody can be a ca whether you taken certain subjects or not does not matter but knowledge of mathematics till grade 10 is something which will always help you getting into a area like ca so my suggestion is uh, study maths i want to do engineering so what is better jwe or sat well both are equal level if you want to study engineering abroad then sat if you want to study engineering in india then jwe if you want to settle in canada what would be the suitable stream for my child i can only tell you after brain mapping and counseling ma'am otherwise i cannot or sir sir i can take business management and ethical hacking together uh, answer is yes you can do a degree in business management and can do a part time certification in ethical hacking can we start ca preparation after 10th not required don't become a crazy parent or a crazy child peacefully have a very strong knowledge and grip of the subjects which you study in grade 9 10 11 12 related to commerce accounts economics statistics business studies and then after 12th go ahead and appear for ca foundation sir what are the exams which a student of science have to give if is pursuing robotics well for robotics there are two areas one is a child can go through a be or a btech in robotics or automation second is a child can go through a bsc in automation and robotics so both require different bunch of subject combination at grade 9 uh, 10 or further at 11 and 12 so primarily if robotics is something which the child they wants to go for then continue with science in grade 9 and 10 and after 10th you can get in either commerce or science depending upon subject comfort at 10th level and further can pursue robotics or automation or artificial intelligence machine learning and so on what type of books should we read well at your age i tell you to read everything read history contemporary art fiction non fiction biography you know anything what comes your way read sir if a person wants to become a gamer then learn the nitty gritties of gaming you should be very good with your computer sciences learn how to code learn how to program get into digitization and uh, you know uh, digital marketing digital media working search engine optimization these are the areas which you should get lot of knowledge that will help you not only become a great gamer but it will also help you to earn a lot as a gamer 
So I always say, not only learn to play a game, also learn to make a game so that your earning also continues. Sir, as per my thinking, I think there is going to be more future in digital world as there are NFTs and cryptos. So can be an investor and NFT developer if I take commerce? Answer is yes. Even after commerce, you can get into cryptography, blockchain, uh, you know, uh, uh, or, or any other area of digitization, be it automation, uh, be it artificial intelligence, cloud computing, internet of things, and so on. Anybody can get into even with commerce, no worries. What subjects are best for entrepreneur? Uh, well, there are no as such prescribed subjects for entrepreneur and entrepreneur needs to learn all forms of management, be it marketing, finance, systems, operations, information technology, and human resource management. All five areas you have to learn to become a good entrepreneur. So I think uh, my time is over uh, i uh, so once again i would like to thank all the parents children and uh, especially uh, lamia ma'am falguni ma'am uh, all other faculty members who have connected with us uh, i will just quickly once again share with you my direct uh, uh, you know uh, number if you want to connect with me please don't uh, uh, you know i i would request all of you to not uh, spam my whatsapp I am sharing with you the WhatsApp link. If you have any questions, which are genuine questions, please put it on my WhatsApp. Give me time. Don't just bombard with me, uh, me with questions. Give me time. I will revert to your questions, right? Uh, so I'm giving you both my WhatsApp channel as well as my Telegram channel details. You can connect with me on that for real time answer. Mohit sir, can I add something? Ma'am, please. Yeah, few children had the questions of the combination of the subjects, like science and the humanities subject in grade 11th and 12th. So I would just like to recommend that the combinations are possible in ISC, but in that case, you should be very clear what do you want to do in future. Just currently the subject appeals you and you are comfortable with it, do not go ahead with the subject immediately. First, decide your career, like sir has already guided you, and then only go further, otherwise you will land nowhere. Am I right, sir? Ma'am, with the new education policy, there are a lot of cross connects which I am seeing because in Indian education system, till now we did not have the method of bridge courses. Now, okay. bridge courses are being added in a big way, but I believe those bridge courses will not come into application at least till 2030. That's what I so was right saying. now. The children who are in grade 9, 8, 9, 10 must carefully walk so that they don't miss on certain subjects which may be required for a graduation in future. And they may not take some subject under force because they want to do something in life which is not meant or suiting to their taste. So children, please pay attention to this. This I wanted to highlight. Just don't go by your choices. Just see how it is going to help you in future. Thank that you, is sir. important. That is very important. Okay, Sakina. Ma yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Once again, everybody, thanks all the parents. Thank you very much. I am, yeah, Sakina, ma'am, please. Yes. I am assured that this workshop has been a great success so far as it has imparted a lot of information to all of us. On behalf of Ansh and each one of us who have gathered here today, sir, I would express our sincere gratitude to you for your valuable presence. You have surely given us a deeper insight into this topic. And your presentation was also quite uh, useful and very informative. Once again, thank you, sir. And I would like to also thank all the parents and students who have been a part of this workshop. And uh, once again, have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for 